What's going on guys? It's NY Prepper here. It is Saturday, April 10th, 2021, and I have another breaking news alert to share with you guys on the situation in Ukraine. We have some video footage here of the Ukrainian military deploying short to medium range ballistic missiles to eastern Ukraine. So I'm going to show you guys this video footage here in a second. And uh, I also have some information about a U.S. RQ-4 Global Hawk flying over the Crimean Peninsula. And if you don't know what the RQ-4 Global Hawk is, it's a reconnaissance drone that the U.S. military used extensively in Iraq and Afghanistan to find terrorists and gather information on the Taliban. And so there's a flight path of this RQ-4 Global Hawk flying over Crimea and uh, southern Ukraine uh, since this morning, pretty much all day. It's been circling around the Crimea area. And obviously that's you know, for reconnaissance purposes, it's the U.S. military trying to gather um, intelligence on Russian positions to figure out where the Russian positions are. Um, and we do know that the two U.S. warships are on their way to the Black Sea, possibly having Tomahawk cruise missiles on board, um, which, you know, you don't deploy a uh, destroyer like that with Tomahawk Chris cruise missiles if you're not expecting something big to go down. So I want to just uh, show you these ballistic missiles that the Ukrainians have been deploying uh, to eastern Ukraine. These are the OTR-21 Tachka missiles. They have a range of up to, I think, 150 miles, and they're actually nuclear capable as well, okay? Um, so I'm going to get into some of the specifics of these uh, ballistic missile systems at the end of the video, but they are nuclear capable and they can fire a thousand pound bomb. OK, and they have a range of about 150 miles, I believe. So I want to just play this video here so you guys can see the deployment. And uh, so here you have a column, you have some uh, trucks here. And you'll see the missile systems in a second. Here's the first truck here. That that truck right there is the Tachka missile system. Okay, so there's one. There's another one, two, three, four. So we have four missile systems so far in this video. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's eight Tachka missile systems here being deployed by Ukraine uh, in this video. Uh, and again, this is only one video. There, there could they could very well be deploying more than this. All right, um, but these Tachka missile systems are pretty. They're pretty lethal. They've been used extensively in various conflicts around the world, and. Uh, they are old. They're from the Soviet Union days. But, you know, the fact that Ukraine is deploying these to the front line is obviously a red flag. You know, Ukraine is expecting the worst and they're moving all their forces to the front line. Uh, they wouldn't be deploying these uh, missile systems if they didn't expect some kind of a Russian attack. All right. These are very powerful missile systems here. They're not as powerful as the Iskander missiles. But they're, they are very powerful. Again, they can shoot a nuclear uh, warhead, a nuclear-capable warhead, and they can also shoot a 1,000-pound uh, bomb. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty powerful stuff here. And uh, here I have a photo of the U.S. RQ-4 Global Hawk flight, uh, flight path. Uh, you can see here this orange plane represents the RQ-4. And you can see it's flying along the uh, Krasnodar, Crimea area. And it's been flying in this region for pretty much all day. Um, my guess is that they're trying to gather intel, obviously, on the area here. Okay. Um, so that's, uh, you know, a red flag here. You know, the U.S. would not be de deploying a uh, Global Hawk drone 
unless they really have to, and they're expecting some kind of a conflict here, okay? Um, so now finally, I just want to show you guys what these OTR Tachka missiles uh, look like here. So this is what the missiles look like, okay? Uh, as you can see, they're pretty large, all right? They're pretty large missiles, and uh, they were forward deployed in East Germany by the USSR in 1981. OK, uh, let's just move on here and get some information. Uh, they are capable of having a thousand pound conventional high explosive uh, bomb here. OK, thousand pound high explosive bomb. That's <clears throat> pretty powerful bomb. That's what the Tomahawk cruise missiles have a thousand pound bomb also. Um, Fragmentation has a lethal radius of up to 200 meters, <clears throat> excuse me, and they are nuclear capable, okay? Um, and some of the newer variants here, the Scarab B and the Scarab C, have a range of up to 115 miles, all right? So it's a pretty advanced uh, system here. And I want to just show you guys how prevalent this missile system has has been used or how prevalent it is in the world in 1994 the yemeni government used tachka missiles in the 1994 yemen civil war in 1999 russia used the tachka missile systems in the second chechen war and in 2008 in georgia at least 15 tachka missiles were deployed by russian forces from august 8th to august 11th and this was in the South Ossetia War. This was um, in Georgia, if you guys don't remember, when Russia invaded Georgia. Uh, CNN reported that at least one of these missiles was near Donetsk during the war in Donbass. And this was used either by the Ukrainian army or the Russian-backed separatist forces. The Ukrainian army issued a statement in which they denied the use of the ballistic missile. Uh, it says here the Ukrainian army continued to use ballistic missiles throughout the conflict. Um, in 2014, the Syrian army fired at least one Tachka missile against Syrian rebels. Um, you know, so this missile system has been used extensively. Um, it says here that as recently as 2020, during the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, Azerbaijan claimed that Armenia fired Tachka rockets at its territory. So, guys, this is a very common missile system, and it's being deployed by Ukraine right now uh, to the front lines. You know, this is a, a very serious situation. Again, Ukraine would not be deploying these types of missiles if they weren't expecting something big. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated. And as always, take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare practice and persevere.